One of the situations we come across a lot in programming is we need to test the input that the user places in our program to see if they're inputting what we want them to input. So in this tutorial we're going to look at a very simple function that will test to see if the user inputs one or two and we're gonna assume that the user can input the number one or the number two or the words one and two uh, and we're also gonna check the capitalization as well and now there's several different ways to do this but we're gonna put this into a function so we're gonna start our program off here and we'll define our function and we'll call our function let's say test input and then outside of our function we're going to need to call the function and we would normally call the function by test input just like that and we know that this will actually run the program this under this function here but we want to capture whatever the person inputs we're going to put the input inside the function so we're going to need to set up a variable and we'll call it uh, type so whatever the user types is going to put into this variable and we're going to go ahead and print you and let's say you entered and then we're going to tell them what they entered alright so this will run it won't give us anything because it won't actually run the uh, function here so we need to put something in the function and let's start out we're going to add some more stuff to this but let's start off with number equals input whatever the person inputs and we're gonna say enter a number between one and two and we'll run that this allows us to enter let's say one and we need to return that number first so let's say return number and we see that it says you entered one because we entered one there so what's happening is this is what's asking the question we're returning the number we're changing that into this variable here called type and then we're printing that variable out the problem with this is enter a number between one and two and we enter seven it accepts seven we don't want it to accept seven we only want it to accept one or two also when we run this if we type in the word three it'll accept that as well so the way we're gonna solve this is in our function we're gonna set up a while loop so while true and this way it will continue to ask us over and over to enter a number between one and two if they enter something improper so while true we're gonna try and this is where we're gonna put our input so we're gonna try this and we need to set up a variable with what we want them to input so let's call this a valid answer 
and in that variable, it's actually going to be an array, we're going to put all the things that we will accept. So we're going to accept the number one we know. We also need to accept if they type in one, lowercase or uppercase. We need to accept the number two. We need to accept two typed out and we need to accept two with an uppercase. So this will take care of all the entries that we want them to put in or we're going to allow them to put in. So now we need to test this input. So we're going to say if our number which is this variable here is not in our variable valid answer we're going to raise a value error and we're going to call that one or two only. And we'll look at that in just a second. So that's if they entered something improper. If they answered something that was proper else, that's when we're going to return our number like we did before. And With this try function, we need to accept the value error as error, and we're going to print out the error. So what that's going to do is it's going to, if we enter something invalid, it's going to tell us that we want one or two only. So let's test this out real quick and see if it works. So enter a number between one and two. We're going to enter the number one, and we see it says you entered one. We'll test out one typed out, and you entered one. Now let's test something that doesn't work. Let's say five. And we see it called our error here one or two only, which is here. And then it asks us again, enter a number between one and two. We can continue to do this with improper inputs and it won't accept anything other than what we've allowed to input. 